<laughs> okay, Mark, what have you got on the menu to make us feel good this Friday? Well, I've got some Mexican, so we're going to make some chicken fajitas, and we've got nice little um, garnish to go that with, with it. We've got some refried beans, we're going to make some guacamole, and then we're going to build these beautiful fajitas on these beautiful um, tortillas, and we've got a chili tortilla as well to get some extra spice in for all that cold weather we're having. So I'm going to show you how to do all this a little bit later. Now it's over to Holly. Thank you very much. Great to have you with us in the cafe kitchen. And Mark, we are going Mexican this morning with a little bit of help from Faras. Now, I've met the owners of Faras. What I love about their story is they actually wanted an authentic Mexican tortilla. So what they did is they went to Mexico to find out how to make the best. And then they bought a machine back from Mexico and brought the Mexicans over to help set it up. And now they can get you these and their spice mixes, which makes it very easy to do at home. But we're going to shepify it up a little bit as well. Yep, yep. We've got some refried beans and we're going to make a guacamole and then we're going to build these beautiful tortillas. Mm, yum. Okay, cool. So right. we're going to use chicken. We've got yep. some chicken. So we've got a chicken first, so we'll just get the spice mix. Okay, from, cool. As, what do you want um, this one? Okay, put cool. Put some spice mix over there. Okay, cool. And we'll get it nice and coated, so a couple of, uh, couple of spoons mm, on there. That smells good. Okay, cool. Oh, cool. <laughs> beautiful. So get it all nice and coated, and then yep. I've got a nice hot pan there, and we're going to start um, frying the chicken off. So we get a little bit of colour on there, and it's going to bring out the flavours of the spice. Put a little bit more in. <laughs> it smells really good. Yeah. And we've left the chicken quite chunky as well, so yeah. it's quite nice. So it's nice, going to be a nice textured uh, tortilla when we eat it. Yeah. And then we've got some. Uh, so. And we've got some vegetables as well, so I'm going to start chopping the vegetables. Well, that's you, a great thing with farmers, because they have a recipe on the back, so you can make it nice, quick and easy, but um, you're going to add some of your own vegetables <laughs> as well. Our own thing. Yeah, nice. Yeah, so as you fry that, so you, so you can start with the chicken, because that's going to take the longest to cook. Okay. And then when the chicken's sort of about halfway, three quarters of the way through, we'll start adding our vegetables. And then by the time the vegetables are softened, the chicken's going to be ready, and it's all going to be good to go. And it's, it, it's going to show you how fast this is. Great. That's what we like. So there's some nice strips of the uh, red capsicum. You know, I mean, you can you can put any vegetables you want in here or do anything you want, really, but, you know, it's nice to have a bit of uh, capsicum in there. Well, I think if you've got if you've got the authentic sort of Farah's spice mix, then you're right, you've got that authentic Mexican taste and you well, can do whatever you want with yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. And then we'll go a little bit of onion as well. So we'll just peel that and slice that. Jeez, mm, I can smell that straight away. Good. Obviously, the key thing is as well is, you know, we need some heat in the pan to cook the chicken, get some nice colour and caramelisation on there, but you don't want to over... you don't want to over-toast all these spices, yeah, you true. know? We want to toast them to bring out the maximum flavour, but okay. not... you don't over-toast them. OK, great. Right, OK, so I've got some uh, onion. We're just going to thinly slice. So slice it nice and thin and it won't take long to cook. OK. So that's all ready to go. This is a, it's is speed, it isn't it? This is a good, quick meal to make on a Friday night. Right, and I have got some... Uh, I'm going to put a little bit of oil in here. Yeah. And then I've got some garlic cloves. So I'm going to leave the garlic cloves whole. OK. And then nice hot pan, and we're going to toast them for like three, four minutes. We're going to get some colour on that. Even go quite dark with the colour. It's going to flavour the oil. It's going to soften that garlic. And then we're going to put our beans in. And we've got some spices to put our beans in a little bit later. And that's what we're going to serve on the side of our uh, tortillas. Oh, yeah. And then we are going to make some guacamole. Because you can't have Mexican without guacamole, can you? There you, you go. You found some avocados. Good work. Yeah, we have it. And if you feel them, they're nice and soft. That's you know, really they're, they're, pretty, no, I, I went looking the other day for some at the supermarket. And they were all quite hard. But, no, they're, they're, they're in season, if you look. But you buy them and you leave them in the pantry, you look forward to using them eventually. So you, you know how to, you know how to prep them? Nah, yes. So, yes, yes. Do you want to show us? No, you can show us and I'll see <laughs> if I'm right. <laughs> Alright, so we'll always, always take that little thing out here, which has already been removed, but take that out. Uh, put your avocado in here, get your knife in, push it in, and you've got a stone in the middle. So if you just keep your knife flat and rotate the avocado around carefully, it will join up the cuts, you can twist it, You've got that, you've got the stone in there. How'd you get the stone out? Bang, like twist. that. Little twists. Be and careful when you're like doing that. that, though. Yeah, nice. Yeah, that's what I do. I go the other way, though, bizarrely. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah I, 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 <laughs> it doesn't matter, does it? No. No, no, so it's all the same. That's what you want. And then you can just get a teaspoon and nice and soft. You can just scoop it out. So that's it. Just keep, keep tossing it around. That's the colour what we're after. OK, cool. And this chicken's coming along nicely. That's a great thing with Farah's, because you've got these beautiful fresh tortillas uh, that you can use. And, of course, you've got the spice mix. If you want more, you can go to farahs.co.nz. Or, if you like, you can add what Chef Mark is doing to them and make it nice and tasty. Find out what to finish off here with our wonderful fajitas that we are making using Farah's. These. Grab them at your supermarket. Easy to spot. 
lovely and fresh. They don't split or crack when you roll them too, so you know you've got an authentic tortilla or fajita here. Okay, um, this chicken is smelling incredible, isn't it? Right, so I reckon we're, we're about three quarters of the way through the chicken cook. Yep. So just add a little bit of onion in there. Oh, and we'll up. add the red capsicums. Oh, yeah. And you just want to cook that now until the vegetables are softened. Yeah. And that's nearly ready to go. We've got the garlic in here, which has been roasting. Just starting to crush that with the back of a, a fork. And you can see you've got that beautiful sort of like caramelised garlic sort of flavour there. So it works really well with these uh, pinto beans. So I'm just going to pop them in. And then we'll just lower it down a bit and we'll start warming those up. And then we've got some little bit of chilli powder. Just going to put in there with the beans and Yum. some cumin as well. OK, nice. Oh, yum. Cool. So the beans are on there. This is so fast, this is a great thing. You know, you get your chicken sorted, or your beef, whatever it is you want to use. Add your vegetables and away you go. Get your spice mix. And if you want more recipes, you can go to farahs.co.nz. I've got a great website there to show you some other exciting recipes that you can make. And the guacamole. Right, and then we're just going to finish the guacamole. So just going to get an onion. Yeah. Just finally chop the onion. I'm going to pop that in. I'm going to pop some lime juice, some salt, and a little bit of Tabasco in there as well. A little mm. bit of pepper. Well, you like it hot, don't you? Oh, it's Mexican. It's got to be hot. Get the oh. Tabasco, some lime, and then I'm going to finish it with just some diced tomato as well. Nice sort of fresh, creamy, creaminess in there. We can get some, uh, we've got a nice hot griddle pan on here as well, so you can get some of those tortillas in there if you want. OK, cool. I can do yeah. that. <laughs> Yum. Do you want to use the uh, chilli ones? Do we use the chilli ones? Not the oh, chilli only, ones? If you, only if you like it hot, just don't complain. <laughs> no, I like it. OK. Ooh, yeah. OK, so you're pretty much talking five minutes and this whole dish is oh, totally yeah, Oh, yeah, yeah, it? yeah, yeah. I think right. the hardest thing about this recipe is just it's just getting everything to come together because it's all so fast and everything's going to be pretty much ready. I know you're not the hardest thing for me on. is making this recipe is not to eat it while I'm cooking it. <laughs> you just you're like mm, that smells good. I just want to eat a big chunk of chicken. Um, okay, cool. I'll keep an eye on these. You're mixing that up and then we'll build it up a little later on, will we? Yeah, so at the end of the build, show. Build right. it up at the end of the show. Nice work. Okay, make sure you come back and see the final product a little later on. And don't forget, farahs.co.nz if you need more recipes and inspiration. Oh, yeah. Are you ready? Oh, look at this. See, I've been building them all. Oh, nice. See, this oh, is nice. where you're back. Yeah. 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 yeah, I have this. I had great food in Vietnam, but this looks amazing too.